coming to the next question, uh, the European Parliament has voted to ban single use plastic items, including straws, food containers and cotton butt sticks in a bid to tackle marine litter and encourage sustainable alternatives. Oscar, what measures do you think are being taken by the industry to keep up to the policymakers' expectations when it comes to loop on the single use food packaging? Yeah, it's a good question because uh, I think it's uh, not only the industry that are taking measures, uh, actually. Uh, if you can go to the next slide, I have some um, points, I think, there. Uh, so I think actually the most, uh, most initiatives that I see in Sweden and Europe, it's not really from the industry. The industry is, of course, taking measures, but there's uh, more uh, measures from supermarkets, cafes, uh, restaurants, and the new startups uh, who are challenging a little bit the traditional uh, packaging industry uh, with different kinds of return and refill systems and encouragement to not buy a new packaging, but instead use a reusable one or uh, use uh, your own coffee cup, things like this. Uh, when it comes to what the industry mostly is doing uh, to avoid these kind of bans and taxes is that they either they used more recycled content um, and it's not always post-consumer. I think this uh, it's a little bit a uh, confusing term for uh, the consumers. They don't know if, uh, if it's post-consumer or not post-consumer and what's the difference really. Uh, and I see many uh, packaging companies who are simply sh taking away the plastic from the product and replacing it with paper uh, or other biomaterials uh, instead, uh, either part of the packaging or the whole packaging. Uh, I think uh, there's a, a very good resource when it comes to packaging and different examples. I would uh, very much uh, recommend the publication uh, uh, article by Ellen MacArthur Foundation. It's called Reuse. Uh, if you follow the link, uh, I think this material will be shared and you can uh, go into ellenmacarthurfoundation.org and uh, read this report. It has uh, over 69, or I think 69 exactly, uh, industry examples, uh, both from startups and uh, more established companies. Uh, 